What's up guys? We're back out here again trying to do the sturgeon deal. If you watched my last video, I came out with ish with fish, kayak fishing with Matt, and my, there's Matt right there. What's up Matt? Anyway, I came out here with ish with fish, kayak fishing with Matt and myself, and I didn't catch any sturgeon. I did catch one, I think it was my PB bat ray, I don't know, it was big. But uh, no surgeon for me. I did, however, see Ish with Fish land his first ever surgeon from the kayak. And I think it officially gave me sturgeonitis. It's just me so far. I'm the only one out here, but I will be joined by a few others here in a bit. I know Matt's coming out here. I did see James Me. I don't think I've ever, he's ever been any of my videos. But if you watch kayak fishing on YouTube here in the Bay Area, uh, you've probably seen him. He's killing it on the salmon basically everything you can catch around here. He's supposed to join us out here in a little bit, as well as a few other guys. Looks like they're actually paddling over off in the distance this way, so we'll see. Should be an exciting day. We'll see if we can find ourselves a big old dinosaur. The name of the game is waiting. We sit and we wait. Ooh, nice mark underneath me. Probably about Ray, knowing me. Holy smokes, a big sturgeon just jumped like literally maybe 100 feet to my right, all the way out of the water. I think it was a keeper too. I've heard they do that, but I've never actually seen it until just now, about five seconds ago. Does anyone know why they do that? I mean, I don't really see a reason for the sturgeon who are normally on the bottom to be jumping out of the water. I know that's a thing, but why would they do that? It's not like they're feeding on the surface. At least I don't think. Any uh, I got a couple, but I'm not sure they're sturgeon. I did see one jump though, right here. Nice. That's always exciting. <laughs> yeah. All right, sounds good. Big Bertha swimming right underneath me. Look at that. Can't catch fish that way. No bait. Hmm. Something must have nipped it off. All right, let's try this again. So normally when you're sturgeon fishing, you got a balance beam and your rod's sitting on the balance beam and that way when the fish hits it, it, it'll pull the rod down and minimize the amount of drag or resistance that it feels and hopefully it starts eating the bait and it doesn't feel your actual pull. But for me, I got the cheapest balance beam you can get. Sorry, no Amazon link on this one. Well, first fish of the day, I don't think it's a, a dino, but we do have something here. Oh, nice striper. Good. 
Not a bad striper. All right, well, first fish of the day, no skunk for me. It's a nice, I think this is the biggest striper I've ever caught from a kayak. Probably about 20, see like 23 inches maybe? Let's measure up. So this is my new hog trough, bump board, whatever you want to call it. And if you're a kayak fisherman, this is a must. I don't know why I didn't get this earlier, but anyway. Easiest way to measure fish in the kayak. All right. Yep, ready. Not quite 23, 22 and a half. And he's bleeding all over the place, so I'm gonna keep this guy. So yeah, if you're a kayak angler and you ever wanna measure any of your catches, which I don't know why you wouldn't, this is a must have right here, much easier than using a old fashioned tape measure, which I did for a while, but definitely the way to go. There we go, hooks out. Even reuse that ghost shrimp. All right, no skunk. Let's try this again. Maybe this time it'll be a dinosaur. All right, guys, this is my last ghost shrimp. All or nothing, right? There. It's our last shot at it. So just a little update. I've been marking a ton of fish. I mean, every few minutes I see what looks to be sturgeon. I mean, I can't really say for sure, but big marks going underneath me. I've been seeing them all day. Actually, not too much in the morning, but as of late in the last like couple hours, I've been seeing a lot of marks. But just have them getting a bite. I mean, I guess they're just not feeding or I don't know what the deal is, but haven't really had any pumps or anything. Just a few little, like probably striper taps or some other little, maybe leopard shark tap tap here and there. Not really a sturgeon pump from what I can tell. Oh, there we go, fish on. Look at that. Rolling the way in. So on the way in, I was throwing this lucky craft. I just dropped it behind me. Troll thought I'd troll it on the way in, and something bit it. I don't know what it is. Something grabbed it. I've got a feeling it's a striper. I don't think it's a, a big one. What is this? What is this striper? Oh wow, he hailed that. Slow day for sturgeon, but at least we got, oh geez. Just about lost my whole rod there. All right, another little striper. Nice thing about coming out here, fishing for sturgeon is there's also a few other species that you can catch along the way. Here, I'll show you this bump board again one more time. Once again, this thing is a lifesaver if you're a kayak angler and you ever need to measure anything. Like I said before, it's infinitely easier than any tape measure. We'll just measure them for the fun of it. Ouch, ouch. Oh. Well, I got a hook in me now. Ah, dang it. I gotta get the fish unhooked. Okay, 
Fish is unhooked. Not gonna measure him anymore. Probably about a 16 or 17 incher. But unfortunately, you got me good there. I don't know if you can see that. That's all the way in there. Uh, what's the easiest way to do this now? Um, well, let's cut. I'm gonna cut the lure off the line. Once again, I'll leave the link for this in the description. Unfortunately, I hooked myself in the process. So here's a tip: next time, unhook the fish before you go and try to measure it. Looks in there good. Oh, okay. Oh, that actually wasn't too bad. Replacement trebles, super strong, super sharp. And uh, yeah, I can tell you firsthand, they'll get you. Also linked in the description below. On that note, thank you guys for watching. Here's that lucky craft. Here's what it did to me. I gotta clean this up, so. The sturgeon hunt continues. Like I said, today was super slow for sturgeon. I sat around for about five hours, four or five hours, and uh, didn't really have any, I mean, I might have had one or two bumps that could have been sturgeon, I don't really know. But didn't hook into anything other than that one striped bass. Uh, which wasn't too bad, about 22 and a half incher, so better than nothing, but unfortunately, the sturgeon hunt continues. Sturgeonitis is carrying on. I can just feel it now. All right, we'll catch you guys next time. What was I thinking? So dumb. Never handle a fish with three trebles just flying all over the place. It's like the number one rule of fishing.